And Roma's lineup. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Liverpool are synonymous with success on the European Cup or Champions League stage and a round of 16 tie always, Lee, whets the appetite of their supporters. Well, it does. European Champions five times. Every Liverpool supporter you speak to will remind you of that fact because they're very proud of it and quite rightly so. And this is how Liverpool start the game. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. Well, regaining possession for his side, cleverly. And no, no, and a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort, he smashed it. It's with Roberto Firmino. Will he play it in? Is he going to punish them here? And it's Wijnaldum. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden, one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Well, as we see from the replay, the keeper's got no chance. It's all about the strike all about the power he does everything right head down back of the net slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored now what can he do here and attempting the through ball and the flag has gone up here offside the decision And so this first leg is no more. The referee blows for full time and European nights mean so much to Liverpool. They find themselves with the advantage going into the return match. Yes, Derek, we're expecting a tight, tight game. That's what we got. But can they keep that advantage going into the second leg? It should be a cracker.